Okay, so today I'm going to talk about importance in parenting. Um, this is about the psychological need for importance. Um, everybody gets their uh, need for importance in different ways. Uh, this is a uh, has an emphasis in this culture, particularly um, being the best, um, achieving excellence, uh, these kind of values, which is uh, they're they're fine. Uh, to a certain level, after a certain level they become destructive and uh, this is just important to understand uh, just in managing any kind of situation but parenting especially. So I'm going to kind of use my parents, uh, how they chose to manage themselves as kind of a case study here. Um, so, you know, perhaps you could say that my dad took a lot of pride in, in you know, how he saw himself. Um, after a certain level, though, this became destructive. So, <coughs> uh, let me. So, basically, one example is uh, from as early as I can remember, we were saying, you know, yes, sir, no, sir standing at attention, all kinds of stuff. I, I mean, uh, uh, you know, maybe it's cute as a child, but again, we were doing this uh, throughout all of childhood, yes sir, no sir, uh, everything, anything that didn't go exactly as planned, we'd be doing push-ups, and it's just, uh, I don't, I, it, it, it might seem like it's discipline, uh, you know, just talking about it. Uh, after a certain point it became just destructive. Uh, you have to think that um, while a certain level of structure is important for growth and, and, and also the way of gratification, this is also great things to teach. He was he was basically getting off on it, you know. He he loved the control, he loved uh, love people doing his bidding so it became a sense of talent. it wasn't done it wasn't structured out of compassion it wasn't structured out of the de desire for us to grow it was uh, it was structure for the sake of his own glorification and uh, I mean it, it just became sick uh, so you know uh, things didn't go exactly planned uh, uh, you know daily uh, physical discipline it it, it, it it became a, a dark so it is just reflective of his own insecurity basically so that that becomes the extreme so uh, another way this manifests itself in the dark side is you know it's it, you get impossible expectations become destructive disappointments and projected self-loathing so you know in a way these type of parents they they put on their children their own uh, they said, well, they first they think of themselves as a failure, but uh, they cover that up by saying, well, if my children are successful, then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll feel good about my life or whatever. And uh, so then they, they have, you know, oh, I'm going to control my children. I'm going to do this, do that. And uh, so this kind of grip on parenting, uh, this kind of expectation, oh, but but also with the expectation and the pushing becomes, oh, they might fail, they might fail. So at a certain point, uh, if, if the, the uh, child who all these expectations are, are, are projected onto, if they don't do as expected or you know, whatever, they don't live up to the expectation, then comes the aggression, then comes the own, uh, it, it, you basically the parent is projecting their own self-loathing onto their child. So. You know, I hate myself, I think I'm a failure, and I hate my child, I think I'm a failure, but I'm not going to tell them that. So, you know, uh, this kind of back and forth, back and forth is just kind of destructive, so. Uh, it's, and let me just, it's super destructive. Uh, but what you have to see it is, it's basically just childish, immature behavior on their own part. Um, everybody has their own path, so I'm going to just kind of discuss uh, how this is destructive, uh, from the, the Taoist perspective, you know, how, how the Tao views things and views mental health. So, uh, the first 
phrase that comes to mind is because he is content with himself, he does not need the approval of others. So what he was doing, uh, you know, through this need for importance, he was not only trying to tell the world, like, look at how successful my kids are, see me as successful, but also he was demanding from us to see him as successful and important. And all of this is just basically childish neediness. I mean, uh, I, you can kind of imagine it's kind of hard because, you know, it's your own father, it's an old man, but it's really kind of like a boy asking for his own uh, approval from his own father. So, you know, when you view it as that, it's just basically just immaturity on his part. Uh, so if your happiness is dependent on others, you'll never be happy yourself. And this is a, another another t uh, insight into uh, well-being and mental health. So, uh, you know, in his sense, he was dependent on his own children, seeing him as important and as this smart, you know, us, you know, aggressive guy, powerful guy, and also uh, the community at large. So, you know, uh, this never ends. The more you desire uh, seeing not only having your children see you as important, or the more you need, it's, it's a really need for the uh, community at large to be important, to see you as important. It, it never ends. You will never reach a, 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 a place where you feel, you know, uh, I'm a man and mom of myself, you know, I'm, I, I'm, a, per, I'm a person independent, uh, you know, I'm a mature, you're, you're never mature into, into your own uh, adulthood. So, uh, another uh, quote that comes to mind, try to make people happy and you lay the groundwork for misery. So this is kind of just talks about the, the paradox of, of life and you know, when you try to force things, you get the opposite of what you're trying to do. This is another quote, try to grasp things, you lose them. This is a statement of control, like the more you try to control, the less you're in control. And then the more you try to control, I mean, this is a, uh, it's a destructive cycle. It's, it, it, it's a sign of his unawareness of balance. And when you get around him in any amount of time, you just feel that that destructiveness, that darkness. So, um, another uh, kind of dichotomy or uh, paradox of life. Just remember, this is the yin yang. Uh, this is what the Tao symbolizes. But uh, the master loves to compete, but doesn't think that he's better than anybody else. So you can strive for excellence. You can try to be the best. That's great, um, as long as you keep it in context. You know, there's uh, in the greater sense and scheme of things, there's no better or worse. You know, we're all equal children before God. Uh, all achievement is negligible. So as long as if, if you see yourself, you can try to compete and be excellent, and that's great. As soon as you start to see yourself as better than other people, you're basically, you know, this is Nazism, basically, I and mean, you're you're following a similar tactic. You're, you're trying to destroy other people uh, to enhance yourself. So uh, this is just, I mean, that, it's low-grade insanity, low-grade destruction. So here's some important questions I'm going to leave, leave the subject with. Uh, does your feeling of importance depend on the degradation of others? So this is kind of uh, his own mindset. Uh, for me to win, other people have to lose or I have to weaken other people for them to be under control. Um, does your parent, do you view parenting as an opportunity to, to control someone? So again, this is reflective of his own neediness, his own, uh, you know, low self-esteem. Uh, you know, seeing that as an opportunity, uh, it just it just never ends, uh, you know, needing to control somebody else because of your own insecurity. Um, are your children here to enhance your self-image? Are, are you bragging about them? Are you afraid that if they don't achieve certain things, you're going to feel lessened in some way? Again, this is more uh, depending 
on other people for you to feel uh, feel like yourself, to feel uh, confident in yourself. So again, uh, keep it in context. Uh, I guess I would say, you know, always feel it, it's okay to feel uh, pride about. You know, pride about an outcome, pride about, uh, you know, something you helped influence. Keep it in context, you know. Uh, don't don't make it this, uh, this all important. Don't make your entire identity dependent upon a certain outcome because you never know uh, what can happen. And, you know, it, even a, a child's own path is really his own path. And, and and so it's important to keep that all in mind and keep that in context. And uh, just uh, try to develop a sense of self that's not dependent on how you're seen in the community. You know, not dependent on how you uh, how how uh, you know you're you're seeing yourself. Uh, don't make your happiness exclusively dependent upon others. Uh, this is about you know your own self confidence before you try to do anything else. Uh, work on yourself. Make sure to work on yourself as well. So try to grasp things, lose them. Um, you know, loosen the saddle. Uh, understand that if you try to force anything, you're gonna basically get the opposite of what you're trying to do. So these are just important things to keep in mind within the context of parenting, but really they apply to really anything, but uh, uh, some general insight and advice on that topic, that emotional need, and that area of life. Thanks.